Hi, this is Eric from LD Products and I'm here today to show you how to replace the Canon PGI-270 and CLI-271 cartridges in your Canon PIXMA TS-5020 printer. A brand new Canon PIXMA TS-5020 includes PGI-270 and CLI-271 setup cartridges which feature five different colors, pigment black, cyan, magenta, yellow, and dye black. It's important to note that two different black cartridges are required for this printer series, the PGI-270 black and the CLI-271 black cartridge. Uh, you'll need to have both installed in your printer in order for it to function properly. The cartridges are offered in both a standard yield and high yield size with the high yield or XL cartridge offering more ink. If you're looking to cut down on printing costs, consider buying LD brand compatible cartridges. For more information about those, check out the description below. If you're getting poor print results, the first thing you want to do is check the ink levels on your printer's display. Um, you can do this by uh, pressing the arrows on the printer's display and click down to the little gear screen on the bottom of the screen. And you're going to go down to estimated ink levels. And here you'll notice that we're running low on the yellow ink cartridge. So we're going to want to replace that yellow ink cartridge today. And what we're going to do first is open up the lid of the printer. We're going to wait for the cartridges to center. And you'll notice that the yellow cartridge uh, has a red light blinking, and that's indicating that the yellow needs to re be replaced. So we've got the PIXMA 271 high yield yellow cartridge we just picked up at the store today. So let's open that up. And you'll notice that there's some plastic wrapped around it. We're going to want to remove the plastic first. Okay, so we have our, our cartridge here. You'll notice that there's an orange clip on the bottom and a piece of orange tape on the top. We're going to need to remove both of those before we insert the cartridge in the printer. I usually like to remove these over a trash can just in case ink escapes from the cartridge while I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and grab a trash can and uh, continue the process here. First thing you want to do is remove the clip on the bottom of the cartridge. So you can just pull it off like that. It should snap right off. And then we're going to remove the tape on the top of the cartridge. Oh, and you'll notice a little bit of ink is coming out. That's exactly why we do this over a trash can. We're back at the printer and we're going to be replace, replacing the yellow cartridge in the middle here. So let's go ahead and take the old cartridge out. You're just going to take it out by lightly pulling up on that tab in the front and removing the cartridge. should come out fairly easily. And then we're going to replace it with the brand new cartridge here. Slide it in and press down with your finger and you should hear a click. You'll notice that the red light is no longer flashing, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and close up the printer. And we'll wait a moment. And it's acknowledging that we've installed a brand new yellow cartridge. So we're going to press OK. And we should be all set. Now we're ready to print.